Hi everybody, this is Joyce, not a spring chick chow, and these are our cans updates for the travel suite for MBN and News Video Web. As you might have heard us talking about cans is quickly approaching, it's coming up May 15th through the 26th, and that actually starts next week. I have friends that are already leaving for cans this weekend. I know, actually, I had somebody that left yesterday, didn't I? Okay. Anyway, they're getting over there early for the Cannes Film Festival, March to Film, and of course the Monaco Grand Prix. Some of the news that were coming in already, we're going to have more Cannes updates as they come through, is Speed Dragon is going to be, oh my gosh, you're so excited. We were supposed to be interviewing them the other day. We've got several people traveling from Southern California to Cannes for Speed Dragon. Um, which is going to be screening at Cannes, and this is Carlos Ramirez, Burgundy Phoenix, and Violin. And they are screening on May 17th at 4 p.m. at the Palais, with an additional screening on May 21st at 2 p.m. at grade 5. And the exciting part is, is we still will be interviewing them. We'll have some updates and screens and different information about what Speed Dragon is all about, but it's really exciting to just to see people from Southern California go over to the Cannes Film Festival and hear them. And I think the there's a trailer that we can put a link to for you. Oh, yeah. And also, we were supposed to be talking to the director, too. Yeah, so we'll be getting as much information as we can for you so you can get an update about it. But also, um, if you happen to be over at Cannes, maybe you can go, too. Give us that first-hand report. Also, one of the other parties we're first hearing about is the Thai Film Festival. is celebrating at the Cannes Film Festival. It's Thai Night, Cannes 2013, which is going to be Saturday, May 18th at 6 p.m. And this is presided by Her Royal Highness Princess. Okay, Princess, I'm sorry if I get your name a little, but okay. Um, I'm going to try and sound it out. Princess Ubalratna Rad. Uh, Raja Kanya Siravandhana Barnavati. That's pretty close. Okay. Um, to celebrate another banner year for the Thai film industry. Although I'm looking at that, it almost looks like an Indian name. Or That's Indian what name. it's well, really. But yeah. Thai, uh, Thai, Thailand and, and India have roots that go back together. Ah, that's why. So this movie. Um, they're talking about another banner year for the Thai industry. It was entirely shot in Thailand. Nicholas Wending Ren's new thriller, Only God Forgives, one of the most anticipated films of the year, will premiere at the festival in official competition. Um, the film features veteran actor Vitana, Vitaya Pansrigarm and pop star Yaya Ying alongside, I can say these names, Ryan Gosling and Christian Scott Thomas. Oh, good. We actually have that's, that's big power, power right there. Yeah, that's some big power. Another how this past year is a Chinese film called Lost in Thailand. And every, every I see Lost in Thailand, I'm thinking of Lost in Translation. This is not the same movie. Um, this one is written and directed by Zhu Ye, Zheng, shot in Thailand with the financial support of the Thai Ministry of Tourism. And the comedy went on to become the highest grossing Chinese film of all time. Oh my, wow. Netting over $200 million in China alone, where it beat the previous record held by Avatar and Titanic. That's a lot of Never. money. That's, yeah. That, that's big time in the United States, folks. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at that because that's the Chinese... That's as much money as the uh, as Iron Man made. Well, that's the Chinese market that's very known, well known for pirating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And these are examples that are just the tip of the iceberg. And in 2012, Thailand hosted 53 international film productions, a 45% increase over 2011. And an absolute record in the country. 53 in Thailand? I had not realized. I mean, I keep on hearing Well, I've made movies in Thailand, too, yeah. Yeah. Um, the remarkable growth is due not only to the country's breakthrough, uh, breathtaking sceneries, the world-class quality of its hospitality services, and its competitive production costs. Um, in recent years, the local film industry has gone through a rapid period of modernization and internationalization, and now offers among the most skilled film crews and technical services available in Asia. Actually, that is new to me because I was not, I did not realize they were doing that much filming in Thailand. Yeah, they've been making uh, adventure movies in Thailand since before it was called Thailand, so I think oh. so. But I mean, that's quite a bit, you know. The local industry's coming of age is apparent in the rising strength of Thai cinema itself, which boasts critically acclaimed, uh, acclaimed auteurs such as Palme d'Or winner Architapong, where I'm sorry if I cannot get these names right. She's I'm just sorry. Asian, folks. I'm just Asian. Where they don't come with pronunciations, okay? Um, where, where is the thought? 
Marissa Thackle, along with a new wave of genre directors such as Chukiat Sakverakul, whose concept, high concept thriller 13, Game of Death, is being given a Hollywood remake treatment. Oh, they're going to remake a Thai film? Yeah. By Daniel Stem under the title Angry Little God and Banjong Pisanthanaka, director of the brand new horror comedy. Pimak Fra Kanang, which is currently smashing all records at the Thai box office. And all these accomplish, accomplishments, I know. After saying some of these names, I'm like tongue, tongue tied. say accomplishments. Um, we'll be at the center of Thai Night 2013, where films come alive. An exclusive event organized by the Department of International Trade Promotion, an agency of the Royal Thai Ministry of Commerce, during the International Khan Film Festival. So, I mean, isn't that that exciting? So that's just for Thai night at Cannes, and there will be other nights by other countries too that will be doing major splashes. But it's really kind of exciting to start seeing some of this information. Are you ready? Are you ready? Cannes is coming up. Okay, this is already for next. Well, actually, it starts um, the fifteenth. Yeah, but actually, a lot of pre Cannes stuff is going on right now, though. Mm -hmm. The 15th is Wednesday in Cannes, so they are ahead of us here in Southern California. So we will start giving you more information on the Cannes Film Festival, March Do Film, as soon as we have more updates. But stay tuned, and um, we do, we are in the development of a party list. So, um, yes, and of course there's the public party list, and the private party list. Anyway, stay tuned for more information for the Cannes Film Festival on the Travel Suite as well as MBN News Video Web. So wherever you are, come like us or friend us on Facebook. Okay, it's going to have all the information wherever you're watching us on there. And come, yes, follow us on Twitter at either the Travel Suite or Monty Bubbles. But most of all, just you can go to the websites and get updates too, mbnnewsvideoweb.com or, well, um, or the travelsuite.com. Some of the information will be very similar as it rego as um, it concerns the Cannes Film Festival, although some of it will be different. But they'll, I think we're going to make them pretty similar on this information. Anyway, stay tuned for more.